Hi guys, it's Lori, and I'm coming at you with Vlogist day number 30. There's only one more day left. One more day. Make sure you tune in tomorrow to my video, okay? Just make sure. <laughs> All right, so tonight I thought I would show you what I'm making for dinner. I got this recipe from Caveman Keto, and I will link to the original recipe below. I don't like to take credit for somebody else's recipe so I'm gonna to link to him below if you don't if you haven't ever checked him out he's another one to definitely go check out I got my windows open because it's so nice out today and I don't know if you can hear the cicadas out there or not but they're singing they're singing for us in the background <laughs> okay so I got a foil covered sheet here I already sprayed it but I'm gonna put a little more I don't even know if you can see this it doesn't look like you can it looks really dark, but it's bright in my kitchen. But anyways, coconut spray. I have some chicken breasts. Some of them I cut in half just to make them smaller because I'm not going to want a great big piece. So you can tell I was using this for the cooked chicken. I've got I'm getting spots on my chicken. But anyways, that's all right. Not a big deal. I'm going to go ahead and actually I want them turned the other direction. So I'm just going to flip them over. Chicken breasts. I'm going to put some salt and pepper on them. This is just lazy keto chicken is what this is called. I also have shredded sharp cheddar. I have jalapenos. These really are jalapenos, but they've been sitting around for a couple days, so a few days. So they turned red. No big deal. And we got some bacon back here. I don't know if you can see that bacon back there. But anyway, let's get started by putting some jalapenos on top of the chicken. All right, next step, cheese. Don't be skimpy with that cheese. Next step is the bacon. I cut these slices in half, lay them over it, pick it up a little, tuck it under. I hope I'm not blocking your view, but let me do the rest of these off camera so it doesn't take forever. Okay, here it is all ready to go in the oven. I'm going to go put it in a 350 degree Fahrenheit oven for 30 minutes. Then I'm going to put it under the broiler for five minutes, probably a couple minutes longer than that because we like them nice and crispy. So I'll be back. There it is. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? What do you think, honey? That looks very good. Here's what we're going to have with this yummy chicken over here. This, this is cauliflower breadsticks. I was watching Zelda and Jimmy Ricky and they were making their cauliflower pizza and it just made me want some so I decided to go with the cauliflower breadsticks. Pretty much the same thing, it's just the same crust. It's a little bit thinner than I might do for pizza, I don't know, maybe not. It's pretty thin. That's what it looks like on the bottom. It's got three different kinds of cheeses on top. Well first it has um, garlic butter on top, then it has parmesan cheese, it has sharp cheddar and it has some mozzarella on top so it should be really really good and over here I've got the um, the Rinaldi's pizza sauce to dip it in train <laughs> and my Harry Potter ringtone <laughs> all kinds of interference going on anyway that's what's for supper alright time to feed the hubby <laughs> 
What do you think? How's look, it look? It looks good. Looks good. All right. Try the cauliflower. Try the cauliflower breadsticks. See how that is. Be honest. It's delicious. Is it? It really is. Can you taste the garlic butter? Yeah. Yeah? You can. The only way you even know that that, that that is cauliflower is if you knew ahead of time. Really? Oh, I usually think they taste a lot like cauliflower. Because you know. So it's a good batch, huh? Yeah. yeah. Good. All right. Okay, so I guess that's about it then. Yeah, the rest now? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. See ya. See ya.